Hey everybody, it is the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is time for another Champion Quick Build. Today we'll be looking at Cho'Gath, as he was the runner-up in the voting for the last Quick Build. The winner is actually getting a normal build later this week, so it doesn't matter. Um, so, we're gonna look at Cho'Gath, but if you want to vote for the next Champion Quick Build, leave me a comment down below on which Champion you would like to see next. As for Cho'Gath's abilities, at level 1, if you're laning him, you'll typically be putting a point into your Vorpal Spikes and maxing this out last. And then at level 2, we'll put a point into our Feral Scream and max this out first. Put a point into our Rupture at level 3 and we'll max this out second. Obviously your ultimate at level 6, 11, and 16. As for his rune page, I take Magic Penetration Marks, we take Health for level seals, we take flat magic resist glyphs, and we take AP quintessences. And as for the masteries page, we go with the AP no mana page. Now I know Cho'Gath uses mana, but I actually rather have the defense on him just because that's kind of the style of champion he is. We go with 21 in the offense and 9 in the defense. As for the items that I like to take when I play Cho'Gath, starting out, we start with the Doran's Ring, a couple health pots, and the Warding Totem. Early items in the game will consist of a catalyst because you're going to be getting a rod, and then that blasting one will obviously team up with it. If you are a little bit past that, um, a codex is going to be very helpful too. Obviously, boots, pretty, pretty, pretty standard stuff. Um, then we're going to pick up that like rod of ages, like I said, so we can start stacking up its damage. We'll pick up the Merlinomicon, a cheap buy, good mana regeneration, and cooldown reduction. And we'll pick up Ionian boots of lucidity, so we have maxed out cooldown reduction. Our core build will look a little bit like this. We'll have those first three items. We'll then pick up the Zonius Hourglass to get some of our defenses up, and we'll have Stasis. We'll also pick up the Death Cap for our scaling of our AP, and a Void Staff typically to get through their Magic Resist and go Nom Nom on them. But for some optional items, you have a few choices. You have the Ec or the Ludens Echo, almost said that backwards. Um, good item, get the movement speed, which is actually really good on Cho'Gath, good um, damage too, and a good passive. If you wanna go a little bit more tanky, the Abyssal Scepter is really good, good magic resist and ability power and the aura, very helpful. Then the Rylai's Crystal Scepter, actually pretty good, you get even more health out of this, and you get a great um, slow on them when you scream at them and silence them. Kind of a really good combo, to be honest. Um, other than that, if you just want to take it a little bit more defense, obviously a Frozen Heart is good, although the cooldown reduction on the boots wouldn't be needed, so you could go Penetration Boots here and then pick this up to have max cooldown reduction in a bigger mana pool, or a Warmog's Armor is just a crap ton of health, so why not? But that is going to be a quick build for Cho'Gath. Like I said, leave me a comment down below on which champion you would like to see next for the next quick build. Um, but other than that, just good luck out there on the fields of justice.